day my beauties so welcome back if you all are new here welcome to my channel so for today's video i have a huge beauty supply store haul i went to sam's beauty and i picked up a few things i picked up some clip ins i was going to get a sew in but i was going to have my mom do my sew in i was going to buy some hair from the beauty supply store and call it a day but um we won't have time to do it so the next best thing was clip-ins i used to wear clip-ins all the time when i started my hair journey so i kind of want to go back to it i know seamless clip-ins are a thing right now and i'm going to purchase some of those as well but for right now i picked up some clip-ins from organic and the shake and go organic and this is their nine piece clip-in bundle so i picked up one pack and i'm like I should probably go pick up another one. This is um, in the color 1B, and this is 24 inches. They did have 20 inches, but I just kind of grabbed. I wasn't really looking. Like, I was paying attention, but I wasn't paying attention. So, I really wish that I would have grabbed the 20 inch because I don't want this to be too long. But I'm hoping one pack would be enough. I don't like a lot of hair, and I prefer the bone straight look. So, uh, we're going to see how this turns out. Um, if I don't like the way it looks down, I'm just going to put it in like a side part ponytail, which I'll be fine with that. But so I will be doing, I won't do, I might do a dedicated video, but for sure I'm going to make a TikTok with me installing these clip-ins. And then I will share it on my YouTube shorts. So make sure you guys are subscribed and following me on my TikTok. I picked up the Mane and Tail Detangler. I love this stuff. I actually have one over there in my empties. Whenever I feel my empties, you guys will see it. I have went through this bottle several times. So yeah, I went ahead and I uh, picked this up. I love the way this detangles my hair. And it makes the job and the process a little bit more faster. So um, yeah, I had to pick up another one. You could never go wrong with a pack of... Um, dermaplanes or eyebrow trimmers or whatever you want to call them so I did pick up a pack of those because my shin hairs have been going out of control okay and sometimes while I'm in the car I keep forgetting to keep some in my car but I be needing to get them while I'm in a car and like it's just a lot going on like I just hate the chin hairs if I let them go I will have a beard you'll be calling me Brandon because mm -mm. instead of Brianna you'd be calling me Brandon if I just let it go I can't do that. Next thing that I have here are some brushes from Real Technique. This is my favorite brush. Every time I go in there, I always pick up one or two. Use this brush to contour and to bronze my face. And I like this brush because it's not too fluffy. It's not too small. It's not too big. I have a lot of control with this brush when I'm contouring. It really just fits perfectly right up in here. And I just love it. I love this. So I pick this up all the time. That's one of my favorite brushes out of all of my brushes. That is one of my favorites. I did pick up the Sofa 8 Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I know this is like an old school product. So um, I want to try that out and see how that works for me. I did pick up this cute makeup bag. So cute and pink. Not that I needed it. But I just thought it was really, really cute. So yeah, it's just a pink clear. It was only like 5 or $6. So I also picked up the Ruby Kisses Shimmer Fragrance Mist. And this is in the scent for this is vanilla butter scent and that's the color they have two different colors I think the other one was like rose gold I think but the scent is vanilla I actually kind of want to smell it I'm kind of nervous because I don't know why I feel like I got this already I hope I don't but I don't think I do because I, I hope I don't have this I just feel like I do but you're supposed to shake it up um, and it'll turn you know gold but let's see if it smells like vanilla and I want to see how. Oh, it do. Oh, it does. I don't know. Can you guys see the glitter? Oh, there it is. Oh, it really smells like vanilla. Okay, that's a plus. Oh. So you, you can see the difference. There's nothing on this hand. And it gives you like a nice um, golden glow. So that's going to be good for like vacation or um, for summer. So 
I'm definitely going to go back and get the other one. I picked up two makeup brushes. I picked up the Nika K powder brush. It's just like an eye brush. So I picked that up. I also picked up the Absolute New York Angle Complexion Precision Brush. That's what it looks like. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's going to be perfect to like blend out concealer or um, cream products. So... Yeah, I can't wait to try that. I'm going to go ahead and put that with my brushes. The next thing I have here is a contour palette from a brand called Starry. And the camera is washing it out, but the bronzer colors are um, a little bit deeper in person. This was only $3. And I'm like so into like off brands or... Um, I mean, a, a brand is a brand, but you know, they're not really talked about or popular. I'm so into that. I'll be looking for stuff like that when I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I'm just in that mood to just try stuff that are hidden gems. So I'm going to swatch this and see how well these dark shades are. But that's not bad. Like for $3 and this is just like a, a brand that you really don't hear much about. I, it's a skunk. It's a skunk somewhere and I smell it. And it's like coming in my room and that is so disrespectful. And my mouth open. I'm trying to talk and stuff. I did pick up this Absolute New York Matte Probiotic Setting Spray. And not that I needed this, but I wanted to um, try it because <laughs> I'm anything that says matte on it, I want to try it because I am an oily girl. So, yeah. I wanted to give it a go. I also picked up two new palettes from Absolute New York. So I think they came out with four palettes, but I only got two out of the four. And the one that I wanted, when I seen, first of all, when I seen all of these palettes in person, they look very dull. Like online, they look a little bit more vibrant. But in person, these palettes look dull. But I wanted to give it a try. The girl, the cashier, um, she said that they just got these in and they feel... Uh, pretty good. They were pigmented. The shimmers are pigmented. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna see. So this is the first palette I have here. I just love the packaging. I think this is so cute. And here are the colors. So at first I seen this one. I was like, mm. and then I changed my mind. And when I went back today, I was like, you know what? It's actually kind of pretty. This is like a nude, cool tone palette. So let's go ahead and swatch and see. I want to swatch the brown. And of course, ooh, the shippers are. Okay, she wasn't lying. She wasn't lying. Wow. Okay, let's do this black because you could never go wrong with a black. Ooh, y'all know we finna try this out. Those are some of the swatches. Okay. That brown didn't swatch too well. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. So, ooh, that one is pretty. This shimmer right here. And it was nice and buttery. Got this one. And this is just a pretty pinky, you know, palette. It's like a pretty girly palette. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Oh, that pink, That even that pink right here is nice. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be like a pretty smoky pink eye kind of vibe. Like, I can kind of smoke it out with that. I got another Ruby Kisses Velvet Matte Lip Cream. I did haul one of these lip creams in um, my other beauty supply store haul that I hauled to you guys not too long ago. I think it was in September. And I think I got like a red burgundy color. This color right here, this is gonna be like a nice nude. And this is called Skin Deep. The color that I wanted was sold out and I see why because um, it's like a pretty brown color. I hope it comes back in stock because I really wanted that shade. I'm like, dang, y'all be taking everything. <laughs> so this looks like it's gonna be a really nice, ooh, and look, oh my God. With a brown lip liner. Oh, that's gonna set it off. Oh, see, I hope that other color comes back in stock. This is like a true nude shade. And the next thing I got is a palette. This is from Sis Star. This is from Sis Star. And I have another palette from this brand that I shared with you guys in my other beauty supply haul. This is the Queen Cleopatra inspired palette. 
and I'm excited about this. This is the last one left, and um, yeah, this one is so pretty. I feel like you can use this all year round. Okay, so this swatch pretty good. So I picked up two more palettes from the brand Princessa. And I don't know if you guys remember, I picked up those blushes. And I was telling you guys, like, I wasn't, when I looked at the packaging, I wasn't sure. And when I opened it, I'm like, okay, I can use these shades. So they have, they have bronzers. I seen these last time when I saw those blushes, but, um... I just didn't get them, so I decided to get them this time. But yeah, they have bronzers. One of them I did stick my finger in by mistake, but I want to go ahead and swatch these. Um, but here's the colors. Once again, the camera is kind of washing it out, so you can't really get the true color. But these are going to be more like, most likely highlighters or something, or eyeshadows, because I know they're not going to completely bronze my face or like blush toppers yeah and they only a few dollars so yeah these are more these are most likely could be like eyeshadows like you can't really see that yeah that's not really popping like that blush palette I don't know if you guys remember from the brand so I will leave that haul link down below too but here's the other palette and you got to make sure you look at the back of the palette because this is palette A and this is palette B. So you won't be picking up the same. This one is the one I stuck my finger in. Now these two are a little bit darker. So let's see. Yeah. It's like these two I can use this like a blush topper. But for bronzing, no. I purchased the Nika K contour palette again. This is the cream one. I got it in dark. Y'all, you remember that haul. A lot of you all were saying, take it back. Use setting spray. A lot of you all recommend the Inglots um, door line. I don't have that, but yeah, I just took it back because I just put it. But I, I wanted to try it again. Um, somebody else said that they tried it. Um, somebody that I know tried it and they said it did the same thing when they swatched it. And then I see somebody else swatch it in a video and it was creamy so i'm like well maybe they got like some bad ones a bad batch and maybe they got like a good batch we're gonna try it again and i was like you know what let me just order from the website and maybe it won't be bad but i end up just getting it from sam's beauty we're gonna try this again because and it just smell like paint we're gonna try it again we're gonna try this again because i just really want this to work because y'all know i like nika k Why do it sound like I'm washing windows? Wow. Let's try spraying something. Because I shouldn't have to do that. I just sprayed something on here. Still nothing probably messed it up this one not even like moving at all nika k what is wrong with y'all i think you could not have you i know before you like start distributing out products that you have to check this quality control you gotta do all it and you mean to tell me you This feel like, wow. I'm not bad, like this, I can't. And then the smell. It smells, it smells like Home Depot, like hardwood store, Ace Hardware. It's giving, it's giving drywall, like it's dry literally. Like, that's the second time that this palette has done that. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep playing with that. Like that's horrible. I just wanted to give it another chance and I just thought I had a bad one and no, it's actually the product. So I picked up a primer cause I realized I don't have a lot of beauty supply store primers. So I picked up the Absolute New York Mattifying Me Face Primer. I am a oily girl so I like to use 
things that are going to mattify me so i'm excited to use this I also picked up two setting powders from ruby kisses this is um this one is in a color rich this is in the color rich and this one is in the color earth but i picked two different shades up so i'm so excited to use this like i just love finding complexion products at the beauty supply store because like i said they could be a hidden gem i also picked up these hair concealers from nika k these are their waterproof concealers and i picked up two colors i'm mainly going to be using these for the eye area i'm not going to conceal under my eyes with it I'm just trying to pick up things that I normally don't. I, I will see it in the store, but I just won't gravitate towards it. And this is the packaging. So and you just roll it up. And I just I'm gonna use it for like the eye area and see if it can give me like a little highlight. So I picked that up. Also picked up the Beauty Creations Dare to Be Bright color base primer. But I picked this bright red pigment up because or color base because the holidays is coming and I want to do like a pretty bright red to like matte eye like that's going to be so pretty for Christmas I'm going to try to use this with like a burgundy eyeshadow kind of look I am so excited about this color now I have this color in yellow and I have used the yellow one a few times and I like it like it really brings out your yellow eyeshadows because y'all know yellow eyeshadows can be a hit or a miss but this here base works really well so i hope that this red just really um i hope it's vibrant and i hope it's bright the yellow is fine but i gotta try out the red the next thing i have here which i'm super excited about this is from kiss this is their natural lip so this is their natural oil lip gloss and you all know that lip oil is so important nowadays. They are so popular. So this is from Kiss in New York. And they had different flavors. But I went ahead and got coconut. So I want to see what this is giving. If it's giving lip oil or lip gloss. Now the applicator is, is giving the um, oil. Let me just open it, child. <laughs> the applicator is not your typical. It's like the silicone. It's giving um, lip gloss. So let's see. But it does say lip gloss on here. I can't really tell because I, I do get on other stuff. But it feels like a lip gloss. I also picked up this Absolute New York Care Moisture Plus Lip Oil. I'm excited to try this out. I hope it's similar to the Ruby Kisses Lip Therapy. I think that's what it is. It's in my purse. But I hope it's similar to that. Uh, but I just really like the packaging. I like the the ombre blue effect. I don't know why like this just gravitated towards me So I'm excited to try this and then I also got this from Nika K. This is the fruity I think this there this is their fruity lip gloss and I guess it has like the mint leaves kind of feel to it I just got the clear gloss. Um, I saw these when these came out as well These are kind of fairly new or they've been out for a little bit, but they're still new um, I didn't rush to get them because they're just a regular clear lip gloss, but I just decided to pick up one. And these are also new from Nika K as well. These have been out um, for a little bit, but they're still kind of new. These are some matte lipsticks from Nika K. And I only got two shades. So I got the shade uh, Brown Cashmere. And then I got Espresso Brown Cashmere. wow wait a damn minute <laughs> that is pretty oh that is a the, that's the perfect like fall brown is warm wow okay i wasn't expecting that and this one is just a little bit deeper okay now i want to get more colors oh and these are creamy too so um yeah just applying it is creamy but it says it's matte, so hopefully it'll be matte on the lips like it say. But those are some beautiful fall colors. They don't really have a smell to it. Just your typical lipstick um, smell. I did pick up a, a lip liner from Nika K. And this is just another brown. This one is not as deep as black coffee. This is just a regular brown, which is it's fine. This is like an everyday. And I think this is the last product I have, you guys. To share with you guys so i'm excited about this i picked up a new foundation the ruby kisses fresh all day matte foundation 
and I picked up the color Coco so I hope no not Coco but coconut <laughs> so yeah I picked up coconut and you know coconut is like you know those familiar foundation names you know you'd be like okay that kind of sound like something I could wear so hopefully I can wear this it I don't know why it looks a little bit darker in the the bottle it could be the bottle but yeah we're gonna be trying this out we got a lot of stuff to try out I got listen I got so much makeup that I want to try out with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you all are new here and you like this kind of content, make sure you guys check out my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.